Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across a life cam fails to initialize, initialize, cannot continue error. So we're going to go about how to hopefully resolve this issue and we're going to jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up a web browser. Doesn't matter which one, we're going to open up Google Chrome for this tutorial. And there's going to be a couple links in the description of the video. First one's going to be for a support.microsoft.com web link here. So you just want to give it a moment here to load up. And we're just going to wait a second because there's going to be an important download that we're going to want from here. And that's going to be the LifeCam HD firmware update. Get the highest number update possible in this list because it's going to have some older updates in here too. So at the time of this recording, it's a 6000 update. And that's the one we're going to go ahead and run here. So it should say Verify Publisher, Microsoft Corporation. Go ahead and select Yes. You can minimize out of the web browser. We are going to need to go back there in a couple moments here. But just say Welcome to LifeCam HD Update. Click Next to begin the firmware update process. This may take several minutes to complete. During the process, accept any related security or firewall messages and do not unplug your LifeCam HD 6000 until instructed to do so. Go ahead and select yes, and then you accept the agreement. Next again, and next. At this point, you want to go ahead and plug in your applicable camera. So again, 6000, when I meant the most up-to-date one is obviously related to which one you are trying to install. So just keep that in mind, you want to select next here. I don't actually have this device, so you would need to obviously install it by plugging it into a USB port and then let this go ahead and identify it. And once you're done with that, I would also suggest navigating over to another site in the description of the video. So it's going to be Java. We're going to have to go download Java if it's not already installed. I'm going to go select the red Java download button on the middle of the page. And we're going to agree and start the free download. And we're going to go open that up. Select yes. And now you can close out of the web browser if you want. Select the install option. This will take a couple minutes to install, so please be patient. should say you have successfully installed Java. Select close, would restart your computer, and hopefully then your webcam will be able to work properly once again. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.